Hi guys and welcome to today's video. I am going to be telling you my favorite habits that has changed my freaking life. It's going to be like little weird ones, big ones. It's going to be like an arrangement. It'll be fun. So share this experience with me. Keep watching it. Grab a drink, grab some snacks, some salt and V chips, the best, and uh, keep on watching. So number one is I remove notifications from Instagram. So I actually only receive notifications when someone I follow messages me. Other than that, I don't see it. And it helps so, so much with the amount of time I spend on Instagram. Cause let me just like put it out there. I'm gonna expose myself here. But when I would post a selfie or like just anything on Instagram, obviously I liked it enough to post it. So then every time I would get like a new set of likes and I would check my phone, it was constant. I would like go on to like see the likes and it's just- It makes no sense. And then all of a sudden, while I'm on Instagram, I might as well scroll and then all of a sudden half an hour passes and I've done nothing. I just spent so much time on my phone. So anyways, I took off notifications, now I don't see it. If you like what you post, it doesn't matter if one person or a thousand people or a billion people like it. It seriously doesn't matter. So take off the notifications on your phone, it'll save you so much time. And honestly, you don't get so wrapped up in like the likes and the numbers. I stopped caring altogether and it made me so much happier. So. Habit number two is using a meditation journal. So my friend actually bought me this one. Uh, she got it off Amazon. It's super inexpensive. Honestly, I use it every single day. It's amazing. It is so simplistic. It has an inspirational quote at the top. It has reflections, blessings, struggles, and goals. It's not a big ordeal to like fill out. I don't know if I can show you this. Wow, it's bright. There we go. It's like not a major complicated concept. But it honestly goes a long way. You like sit there, you like light a candle, get rid of your phone, have no distractions, and just sit and think about like honestly the positive and the negative things. Sometimes it's not good to pretend the negative things aren't happening, but if you write it down, it's easier to digest. So, highly recommend. My next tip is actually to food prep. So not necessarily meal prep, but I've been starting food prepping, which means I go just one day and I cook everything. So I would cook like this lean turkey, I'd cook chicken, I would cook rice and like just all of my sides. And I would actually place them all in separate Tupperware because then it's so much easier. So then it goes into the fridge and one day you might want rice with veggies with chicken and then the next day might be turkey and then you can swap it out. So it's not like you're stuck to the same meal every single time and I find it's worked so much and I waste a lot less food. So highly suggest meal, or not meal, food prepping instead of meal prepping. So this next one might sound a little weird, but the next habit is video games. And I mean like in moderation, I don't mean to go wild, but when I have like really bad anxiety and my brain is just like spiraling on like negative thoughts and stuff, I find if I play like old school Mario or just something that like makes me really focus, it helps a lot. It takes it away and I can't focus on like the negative stuff anymore because I'm so into the game. So I find if I'm spiraling with anxiety, I absolutely love playing video games and I find it helps so much and then I stop as soon as that I'm like feeling better. Works like a charm. Buy a switch. So my next habit is taking a bath, which may sound odd and some of you probably take baths regularly but for me I only take them as like special treats so I like I get candles out and face masks and I put like essential oils in the bathtub and it's quite the experience but what I do is on Fridays it's fish night Friday so Kyle goes fishing with his friends so instead of like say somebody being like oh my gosh like he's leaving me I can't believe he's hanging out with his friends blah 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 like some people like spiral when their like partner leaves but to me, I've associated with every single Friday, that's my quality bath time. That means I get to watch Teen Mom and MTV in the bathtub by myself, eating fun snacks and yogurt tubes. It's a great time. So I think just even the mindset of like associating your bath time or your quality, whatever you're doing with a positive thing, is just so exciting. So anyways, bath time. 
So my last tip is actually to cook outside if you can. I personally love it. It's a vibe when you have a barbecue. You hear like the sound of birds chirping and it's sunny out. It's gorgeous. It's just like that perfect breeze. It's like a moment. So Kyle and I love to barbecue. Even things that we don't necessarily like need to barbecue, we just plop around there. It works great. Um, I just find it's like, a, it just gets you out of the house. It separates it a little bit. And like, especially when it's raining, we love that. You just like listen to the sound of the rain and it's so vibey. And I just absolutely think it helps so much. So that's like one of my favorite things when it's nice out where we live it's so buggy right now and like buggy with a b not an m and it's a little crazy but we have like a little thermocell we put out so that it like creates a barrier and the bugs don't bug us and it works great so anyways cook outside if you can okay guys so that concludes the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it i know some of the tips were kind of odd but like those are the things that personally work for me so i wanted to share i so encourage you to comment on my video because i really want to know what is your like go-to habit what's something that changed your life that you absolutely love i would be so curious to know so anyways don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i upload new videos every single sunday at 7 p.m standard eastern time not standard eastern standard time there we go anyways i'll see you in my next video